Good evening. Pardon the car noise in the background, but I wanted to give you a quick look while the sun lasts at this little Ruger bolt action that I picked up after last deployment. This is chambered in 7.62 by 39. It's a bolt action, and uh, here's the nifty part about it. It will accept the Mini 30 magazines that go with the Ruger Mini 30. Now, the Mini 30 is a M14 based weapon that fires the 7.62 by 39 cartridge, which is most famous because of the AK-47 and its many Chinese copies, and it's very available here in the West now, so uh, quite common these days in a lot of different platforms. This one, again, happens to be bolt action, and I think I spent about $350 for this, uh, give or take a few dollars. Again, it's a, just a basic bolt action platform. You've got a polymer stock. It's not wood. Uh, there are no iron sights. Let me show you. Nothing on the front. No front post. And on the back here, you've just got a rail. You've got a little Picatinny rail, which is appropriate, obviously, for glass. So, you know, the weapon itself was probably 350 And I think I spent about $100 on that Cabela scope. $15 for the rings that go on the Picatinny. Each one of these little mini 30 mags is probably 25 bucks each. So I all totaled, I, I spent maybe $500. And I've really enjoyed this little rifle. Uh, again, it's not uh, the smoothest action in the world with that bolt, but it does plenty fine for me. It does get a little sticky when it gets hot, but I've noticed the same thing with my Ruger gun sight scout. Now this could be called probably a poor man's scout configuration with that magazine. Again, 20 round magazine, bolt action, you got a scope on it. It's an intermediate cartridge, a military cartridge. So. But you could hunt deer with this. I'm, I'm sure you would do just fine hunting whitetails with 7.62 by 39 out of this. Uh, I, I don't hunt deer, but I do use this at the range on a fairly regular basis. I put probably between 600 and 700 rounds through it. I've had maybe five hang-ups, you know, uh, give or take. Uh, I'm not going to complain about that at all. I, again, with this bolt, for this price point, I, I don't expect it to be amazing. I've got a Winchester 270 that has a much smoother bolt, but again, that is a, a, a much higher quality deer rifle. This is just a basic, very, very basic intermediate cartridge rifle. So let me put uh, some shooting results up here so you can take a look at it. Okay, so now that you've seen what the rifle can do, there's kind of your gauge. The Army static qualification for the M16 and M4 is not a super complicated test. Even on uh, iron sights, you know, it's it's not that hard. So, <laughs> uh, again, for the, something with a scope, you shouldn't miss. I think I got 38 out of 40. But it's, it's a basic exercise. Uh, you know, three magazines, 20 rounds, 10 and 10. You shoot your iterations and you see how you do. And it did pretty well, in my opinion. You saw some other targets in there as well. Uh, again, with this $100 scope on here, it's, it's done fine. I have no complaints about the scope. And everything has worked really well. And again, for under $500, I think this does everything I want it to. It's uh, shot the way I would expect it to. And again, no iron sights, so you have to use glass. I suppose you could try to eyeball down that barrel, but I, I don't know how successful you'd be. You'd have to have some kind of something on that Picatinny. But uh, again, this is just kind of a basic look at the weapon. This is from Ruger, 7.62 by 39. Polymer stock. Basic bolt action. You've got a tang safety in there. Uh, you've got a little trigger safety too. Everything has functioned quite well for me. I have no complaints about any of it. And that's the weapon. <laughs>